Connect, which is one of my older scripts, also got an update this time around, and it's really nice. And for anyone who's not familiar with it, Connect literally just connects anything you select. So it does this, or it does this on an edge ring, and it also works on face loops, which is really nice, or partial selections, or I don't know, something like this, right? So it literally connects. However, when it comes to using control loops for a subdivision modeling, I still prefer using Blender's loop cut because it just works pretty well. It's basic, but it does its job. Where connect would be better is when I have multiple selections like this, because with loop cut, I would need to add loops one at a time, right? But with connect, I can just press shift C, which is my custom hotkey for it. And there we go. So up until now, everything we've seen there's nothing new in Connect there. The improvements we got for this version are operator properties. So before we needed to bevel these single edges to get extra segments, but now we can just modify the edge count right here. So that's one of the improvements Connect got. And of course we also have this stretch value, which I'm sure you noticed, which I think 3ds Max users will appreciate. So hopefully you saw that it doesn't clamp, unfortunately, but I'll try to update that in a future release, but it's it's an easy way of adding control loops now as well. And uh, now that Connect allows for multiple edge counts, it also defaults to percentage-based offset. So you can definitely use it for control loops. And another change I made to Connect is that before, when you would select a single edge and press Shift-C, it will automatically assume you wanted the entire edge ring and do this. So it would do a full loop but I never really use that. I usually just do this when I want a full loop. So instead for single edges, I made it do this. Shift C, it switches to vert mode, but remember how we still have our properties right here. So we can still do that, right? Because by default in Blender, if I subdivide this single edge, like it actually does apply it. I just can't see what's going on. So I need to change the cuts and then switch to vertex mode. So that is what Connect is simplifying now. So just single edge, shift C, and I can immediately shift C again to another vertex very quick. And another use case, let me open up one of my older files. I guess a better example of when I would use Connect over loop cut is if I have something like this. So I'm modeling a very specific detail in multiple locations at the same time. So this means I wanna reuse my selection as much as possible because let's pretend I wanna add some control loops right here and I do that with loop cut. Well, that's a problem, right? I lost my selection. So now I, I would just need to do this for every single instance and that would take forever. So instead we're gonna reuse our selection by using some scripts and let's start off with select adjacent, which is another script that I give away for free and that will give us the adjacent uh, polygons. And with this, I could just use connect and increase our edge count and do something like this. So connect is really more about recycling your selection than it is about replacing loop cut. They're both different tools and they're both useful in different situations. 